Hello everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Thousand Week Reich as the Perm Soviet Government. Well at this point we're the Soviet Union, but uh, in the last episode we defeated the Russian Republic and now at this point in time we are just preparing for the German war that is most likely I think they're justifying on us. Which is not good. And now we have a bigger front line. That's great. They're all taking the rails. I might have to... I think I might have to build a bigger army. I don't have any guns. Or trucks. Well. This is just great. Let's see. Okay. Okay. You know what? Industry. This region. Right here. We just need all the industry. Let me finish up this port. And then we're just going to build up our mills and get ready for this dumb war. Which I hope we don't lose. So if we lose, uh-oh. I don't have enough trucks either. Oh no. You'll be done by next month. You'll be done by September. I can't. See the last straggler? Nope, there's this one. I don't even need this unit. Let me get rid of that. Paratroopers would be would be nice, but at the same time, I don't think that's really a good idea. These are long range bombers. Uh, well, where's all our air force? Oh yeah, that's right. It's all over here. And uh, I hope we have, I don't think we have enough capacity for all our planes out here. Which that's bad. Let's get a new gun, a better AK. That's a lot of uh, Germans on the border and tanks. I only have three divisions of armor. This sucks. I could start a navy, but I don't have enough ports. For anything, so this is what we're gonna have to deal with for now. Let's see. We might have to build more airfields in some regions. Like up here. Let's make this a level five air base. You can be a level 5, and then we could have a level, your level 5. We just don't have enough. We'll have the range to hit Central Russia. Put that one more. Central Russia might have to do 
Western step. Uh, oh wow. Um let's go for more planes. so funny how early games start off very poor conditions and then you end up having such a huge economy and a huge amount of just industry and manpower it's crazy How many divisions does the Reich have? Oh. Oh no. And Finland's a part of the Reich's pact faction? Or the... What faction is this? I don't know how to pronounce that. And I do not care. I sure hope this works. Higher motorization priorities. These guys don't have good supply at the moment. I just really hope that the Americans get involved or declare war on the on the Reich, so that while they're fighting the United States, I'm going to declare war and have my perfect moment to strike. <laughs> Whew. Sorry about that. I don't think any of y'all could hear that, but that's okay. Ooh, there's a new one. Um, let's see. Two falls, two rises. Submit resignation. What? Yeah, no. I think this is like the second or third faith. I think this is the third phase of the focus tree. But I really want to keep Suslov in charge. Because I don't want to have anybody else. Lenin, Stalin, Suslov. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, this is the, oh, we're now the USSR, finally. That's great. It's really, really great. Um, I don't know, there's no point in doing Soviet politics. It's, I'm not gonna do it. And now we let the long wait begin. There's all our fighters. 
spider, spiders. You all can go there. There. That's better. Oh. These guys are back. This is the first time I've actually seen the German Reich come back. I usually don't. The United States should have cleaned them up by now. And it looks like they're not going to fight the Germans, which sucks. Because I want to fight them, but not in this state. I thought I was building a massive army. There. What do I need? Support. Motorized. Wait. This has motorized? Oh, it does. Does that mean... Yep. We have so much anti-tank, I feel like we don't need to, we can cut down production and get more production in trucks and then get production in tanks going too. Just get that. Oh my gosh. You know what? How long will that take to build? Four, four months? I can wait. Yeah, I can wait. Let's put one there, why not? I know that this is boring, but this game is very long term. You kind of do have to wait on things. I mean, it sucks to this game. Soldiers are moving around uh, again. Which I don't understand why everybody's just moving around. Twenty-seven divisions. Um. Twenty-four. So we have. So we need thirty-five divisions. There we go. I'm still producing medium tanks. What? Oh, I need infantry and motorized for this? Oh, that's great. Missiles.
I don't know how strong the missiles are in this game. I've never actually done rocketry in Hoi 4. I don't know if rocketry is even worth it's worth it at all, but this will be the first time. Long range submarines. Huh. Huh. That's it? Okay. these guys soon? I'm not ready for a war yet. Definitely not ready. Well, the only threat I have to deal with is the Reich, which they have a hundred, at least a hundred divisions, which that I can't, I can't compete against that. start getting intel going, we might as well do that or something. Well, where's one of my armies? Here. Put you guys on the front lines over here. And, uh, we'll do, we'll go to war with the, wherever that is. It's called the Democratic Republic of Turkestan. Let's go to war with them. And I'm only going to fight on this front. I don't, I'm not, well. How many divisions do I need over here? Five, four, four divisions. I'll do that. I'll put five over here. There. player tries to do in war, which is encirclements. This is always the Hoi 4 strat. Just, just make encirclements. It's just great to take out the armies, but it's also nice to just gain some XP. Oh my gosh, well, it's not there, but if you, if any Hoi 4 players know about, you know, this region, we all know that there's a certain province that looks like something, but I'm not going to say it because uh, that might give me a lot of trouble. But many Hoi 4 players know about the state. Really in this region right here. But you have to find that out on your own. Because I'm not going to tell you. Well, anyone who's new to Hoi 4, you're going to have to find out on your own. The messed up state in Russia. I always just call that the no-no state. What did this do anyway? This has no effects. Two building slots. Improved healthcare system. Socialist economies. Or reformist economies. Let's do restoring the union. And now that unit just got encircled. Great. Well, I guess this war is going to be harder than I thought. Oh, 
More factories. I think I might have to go at, I think I might have to turn everything to times five factories now instead of just doing it this way. Because I am going to start just a huge production line once everything really starts getting going. Oh look, our massive army. It's like every time we try and push, we just end up getting encircled somehow. Stop getting encircled. Uh oh. Huh. Looks like we'll have to get a new army. Another unit encircled. Dang. Oh, that's two. No. Guess my plan didn't work out very well. And they've taken this back somehow. Which I don't understand that. Although why is my pur why is purple army here? Just get on the front line. supply hub? It is. Focus on trying to take that. Is this another supply hub? Let's try to increase our priorities. Looks like the Germans are never going to uh, declare war on us. <clears throat> but we'll be ready. Actually, I don't think we will, but we'll try to be ready as soon as we can. Also, I hit 20. Also, the channel hit 20 yeah, subscribers. Thank you all for um, subscribing and giving 20. But to be fair, I'm not really, not really doing it for. Well, I'm doing this for you guys, but also I'm just streaming for, really, just for my own enjoyment. 
Because I always wanted to, do, I've wanted to do this for many, many years. Like, when I was younger. This isn't going to be, I'm not even going to make this into a career. This is going to be just a, a side, like, fun activity. You know, everyone else is doing this for a living. Also, I'm just going to do a little, uh, update on videos. I'm going to be going back to school soon and I'm going to be working a lot more. And so, as of right now and maybe in the near future, videos, it's... The amount of videos I upload a week may... It, it's been varying lately because there are times where I just don't have the motive to record for some reason. I, I just don't know. And then there are days where I'm just gonna halt, like do a recording haul. I'm very inconsistent about that, I'm sorry, but that's just how I am. I'm just very bad at trying to stay consistent on things, but, you know, everyone has a life to live. It's just life stuff. That's why I'm so busy. Plus, I'm just trying to spend some time while I can doing other things in the summer before school starts, so... But, you know, I will try to upload as much as I can and record whenever I have time to. It's just when I have time to, so... Just bear with me, people. Just bear with me. We're finishing up this war now. Let's check the casualties. Oof. That shouldn't have been the casualties for the for us in this war. And the war is now over. Alright. We're gonna delete this front line and just do a completely new one. No! I don't, I don't care. Just put them there. I think you guys are almost ready. I'll have you guys... Is this Red Army? No, that's... Where's... Oh. Where are they? Oh, they're down here. Oh. They're already part of that. Then can I just... Well, it's not letting me click. I don't care. Ooh, let's get this guy. I don't know who this guy is, but, you know, that looks cool. Got the sunglasses on and everything. Oh, that's a huge deficit. We can fix that. We'll modernize in the future. Everything's just slow. We're gonna be using uh, World War. We're gonna be using World War Two equipment. A lot of this stuff we're using is World War Two equipment, if not pre-World War Two. We're the Soviet Union. We don't care about the quality of things. We just care that as long as we have it, we have it. Soviets never really cared about the quality of things. The only thing they really cared about as long as we can use it, we can use it. Which I... I mean, I can agree with that on some stances of things, but... I guess they have that belief of utilizing what they have. Oh, 
a lot of not so fortunate countries kind of have that same motto as well. In war, use what you have. It's also just war of attrition rules, you know. If you don't have anything, you might have to try what's around you. Because that's how, uh, um, that's how a lot of famous, like, generals did. Napoleon lived off the land, which was a huge mistake. Living off the land for soldiers is great and all, but you should always have a supply line as well. Just in case if something bad happens, if you conquer places that aren't resource-rich with food or farmland... Then you're just a stranded duck in the middle of a war. Eh, I think I want the front line to be here, and then we're just gonna we're gonna use the armored divisions as a spearhead to. Really? Uh, oh yeah, and then take this port. This is going to be our spearhead tanks. They're just going to punch right into the German soldiers to the south. Take Rostov. Really, if I take this one, this one, and this one. Oh, and then I have to take this. I think I just take this and then go down here and then I'll have a big and simple man. Put you guys right there. Mm. Let's see. Something that we need more of. Um, let me check our stockpile. Guns. We might have to build gun production again. Oh, but look at that Soviet economy. We are at negative 15 consumer goods. Isn't that, that's, that's broken. Like, I don't understand how that's implemented in the game. That is just <laughs> negative 15 consumer goods. I, I'm not going to lie, That that's just, ooh, I might do that too. I think we should continue down this tree because all this stuff won't be until we have kind of want to wait till we have all the stuff under our control. Welfare, welfare, welfare. Always about welfare. I don't have modern strats yet. We haven't researched heavy aircraft, that's fine. More unassigned divisions. Oh, yeah. Eighteen? Oh, here's more. So, do I only need three more divisions? Just get three more units. That's not enough. Let's. How many divisions would that be? 27? Wait. No. Yeah. Yeah. 
We're just trying to fill up our army, our general, to to get 120 divisions in the field. Uh, start a fire line. Let's just continue. More fighters. And let's get... That's going to take only a month to complete. Too bad they don't have base the base game, but I think this is later on. Because it seems that in every conflict, the strategy of war just changes. After every sort of big conflict, it happened after it happened after the First World War. As a matter of fact, tactics even changed in the Russian Civil War, which that was after the, the First World War. War tactics sort of changed, and then during the interwar period, it was just a massive sort of uh, it was just sort of this massive changes of what could we do to either improve warfare or to improve technology I don't even understand what this does all this stuff that's all I'm doing wasting time for research well and I, nope let's just modernize this then this is just another filler episode I'm sorry maybe in the next episode I'll declare war on the Reich because it looks like nobody else is going to fight them. And they have a stronger industry than I do. Actually, I think we're matched. Hey, look, you can see where we started off. Too bad you can't see the whole thing. But, you know, I'm actually catching up to the Germans with, uh, factories. Really, I just gotta build more mills. And I'll outproduce them eventually. Now I'm gonna build all my, all my rubber and oil down here. Even though it has bad infrastructure, I kind of want to make this region just have resources. That's kind of my excuse on why I built things down there. And then I'll just use the rest for, uh, in, for just civilian industry fillings. The more mills, the better. You know, it's very quiet in the world. Nothing big has happened besides the German Civil War. Well, wait, the UK's at war with Spain. Does that mean Spain's at war with everybody, or is it just the UK? It's just the UK. Portugal's in the alliance, too? What the? When? Um, is there, if there's oil in these regions, I swear. Well, there's this region, but I'm 
surprised they I guess they've broken apart. Syria is a puppet of Israel? What the? Do they have a. They don't. No, Israel does not have a good focus tree. I think it, I think a focus tree for like if this if this mod gets updates, I, I think Israel needs a big focus tree. So does Egypt. I think Egypt should have. They have. They should have something. I think India has something too. Oh, they do. Now, is there a way where they could? They could go back to being a part of uh, the UK again. I kind of want that. I mean, this game has this mod has the potential to to have like more focuses, more country developments. Like even all the different factions in Russia, they have other things. Like they have unique focus trees. And you can have your own like leaders to rule. This is just gonna be a filler episode. Well, well guys, I'm just gonna end the video right here because there's just nothing to do. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.